Hello everyone, Meisterang here, and I'm going to loot this level, the level called Malachite, named after the gem that I steal, of course. Anyway, my plan is going to be I send one person to the bottom left corner to steal all this stuff, deactivate the sorceress's slow spell, and get the red key, while I send the other character up to the top right to deactivate the other sorceress's tome and get the blue key. And to that end, I've put an action glyph right here to just get an extra turn on the first turn of the game. And yeah, there's a secret up here where I had to have Trin step on these three hidden runes to open this. So there's a secret up here. There's also a secret right here that it looks like we can get without even starting the alarm. Well, but let's just, let's just get it. Okay. So, what do we have in here? Okay, it opens from the other side, fine. Oh yeah, also just tagged three investigators. Investigator over here, the investigator up here, and a sleeping investigator down here, because I didn't know who else to tag. Probably should have tagged a sorceress, but whatever. And yeah, I'm bringing Besk again because of the swap amulet, which is pretty good, and then brass knuckles are also pretty nice. If I wanted to, I could have probably could have cheesed this level by having Besk stand on this exit square and having a ghost lure the uh, this sorceress to this portal square and mark him. So this guard's marked and he's three spaces away from Besk and I can swap without even going through the alarm door. But I'm not in the business of cheesing levels right now. Okay, well. All right. So who do I want to send down here, and who do I want to send up here? Um, I'm guessing I should send Elage to the bottom left, because Besk's swap amulet might be useful up on the top right. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. Let's just, let's just get in there. And... Here we go. So we get that extra turn on turn one. I always use it on turn one because it's kind of complicated to plan to plan how we're gonna how I'm gonna use an action glyph if it's later in the level. Okay, there's a guard patrolling down here, but I don't think. I don't think that guard can see, he's going to see me up here. No, he's not. I'm glad I remember. Okay. So. Yeah, I think. Yeah, these, all these spikes are just, all they, all they're going to do is block off this enemy and this other enemy over here, so. Yeah, there's like nothing. There's like nothing dangerous in this entire section of the level until these guards wake up. These sorceresses. So yeah, that's convenient. And they need to lure this guard, this sorceress, onto this square. This is the detection. I need to not deactivate the detection until. Until this sorceress is, until this sorceress uses it, and come on, why is it not working? Let's try standing on this square instead. Um, but next turn, I have to deactivate that alarm bell. 
Okay. Yeah, next turn I have to deactivate this alarm bell, no matter how much this sorceress is gonna mess around. Like, why, why is the sorceress not detecting? I don't, I don't understand. Alright, well I need to deactivate that. And I guess we'll have to get Besk up here. Just have two player characters step on these buttons. And... I kind of want to knock this guard out, but at the same time, I'm going to need to be able to knock a guard out to easily get this red key. So... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to wait. Just keep waiting, and I guess I'm just gonna deactivate the spell book and yeah, you know, there goes my entire plan of having the sorceress help me open up that doorway. Okay, so I can toggle this if I want to. I don't know if it really matters. Okay. Uh, okay, if I knock this guard out... Hmm. They're just a little bit too slow. Like, I was hoping to get through this room before this sleeping guard wakes up. If I knock this guard out now, then next turn I go one, two, three, four, and that's my whole turn, and I steal this uh, key. Then I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Well. There we go, there's the secret. Nothing of interest here? Yeah, you trying to fool me. So yeah, I'm not going to fight this turn. This guy looks like he's going to be... Oh, he's waking up at alarm 3. Okay, everything's fine then. You just beat this guy over the head and then next turn we get the key and then, and then we get out of this room safely enough. Alright. Four guards are about to wake up. Yeah. Yeah, just give me that red key, thank you. And... Yeah, I think that sorceress is going to patrol, yeah. That patrol would have messed me up if I... Um... If I actually walked out of this doorway. Okay, cool. That's one of the objectives. And now we just get... Yeah, we just uh, prepare to leave and go into another room. So I have no access to a green key because I had to, had to block it off to get access to this gold pouch. So I'm going to have to take another trip into the bottom left room and navigate this entire area just to get this gold pouch and also deactivate the slow. But 
the sorceresses weren't using any spells. It was, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Do I have a blue key? Yes, I do. That was, yeah, that was a big part of the reason I went to the top right. Anyway. Okay, so it's alarm two. Oh, perfect, there's a, yeah, there's an enemy looking right at this doorway. Excellent timing. Um, okay, do I want to go... Well, I don't have to use a portal to go... to get into this room. Oh, the X portal lets me get out back into the starting area. Yeah, there's an X portal here. Yeah, top right, or top left and bottom right are the X portals. And that's how you get out of those areas. And the other two areas have keys key doors. Whatever. None of that matters. Let's just get on with the mission. And Best just has to wait. I could have swapped the sorcerers if I wanted to. It seemed like there was much reason to do that. Okay, this guy's marked. Oh, this investigator. Okay, this investigator is not marked. Where's this guy going? It's just search investigating in place. Okay, sure. Um, so I'll wait here. Yeah, Lash has nothing to do. And okay, so I need to steal this money, this money, and that money. This is actually perfectly safe. Cool. Okay, this guy's just gonna be stuck. Good, that works for me, I guess. And... Yeah, so if I go here, I will get seen when this sentinel turns around. So, yeah, we just go down here. Cool. Um... I would like to get the objective before Alarm 3. Well, before Alarm 3 isn't going to happen, but at least like before this guy wakes up. Yeah, so I hide in the doorway, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, they grab all this stuff next turn. Which is almost certainly going to be possible. And then I can get this large gold pouch afterward. And I think I'm not safe anywhere in this room. So I have to hide in the doorway. Okay, so I go up here, then I don't know. I'm just I'm just gonna get past that investigator as quickly as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna go to this square. Now, the sorceress was just patrolling up and down. I didn't need to, like, waste any movement. Okay, well. Here goes nothing. Everybody is waking up. And... Yeah, now I just hide here. Grab this last money. <laughs> Thank you. The next turn we get out. Uh, this investigator. Yeah, this investigator will see me if I just try to hide in the doorway, which is kind of annoying. Will he see me if I try to hide up here? I think he will. Yeah, guards that are looking diagonally, like if he's looking when he's looking southeast, he will see. He he will see me if I'm due east of him. So I just have to wait. And if I go into this doorway, he will see me as soon as he turns around. Mm. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah, investigators are pretty annoying, even when they're marked. Okay, it'll be it'll be uh, hopefully a non-issue next turn. I can throw this lever if I want, so I can get out of the room this way. Is that something I want to do? I have the invisibility potion. I might end up using the invisibility potion next turn. I could also just knock the investigator out. Does that help me? Well, if I think that he's going to not be a threat next turn, then I shouldn't knock him out. Anyway, I need to get this last money, and then we're done with the level. So, yeah, I've gotten everything. Ex oh, except this money on the in the bottom right room. Okay. Well, just gonna chill over there, and eventually, Elijah will be able to get to safety. What exactly is this guard doing? Okay, I guess, um, wait, how far down does one, two, three, four, does this guard go all the way down? Like, am I going to get seen? One, two, three, four. Okay, I do not get seen here. Perfect. Okay, yeah, so new plan is I have Bask use the swap amulet to get the sorceress to help out with the switches. Oh, whoops. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's just this guard. This guard searched? Okay, whoops, okay. I didn't think he would search at the end of his movement. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna use our invisibility potion. And I think my plan of having Basque use a swap amulet is still a good plan. Okay, and cool. Next turn, we can get this key safely and then we'll have to wait another turn after that. Okay, cool. And yeah, I don't even need to, I don't need to deactivate the tome. Okay, so this guy, yeah, this sorceress is standing right here. I was not paying any attention to which way the sorceress was going to go. So that's kind of embarrassing. The sorceress going down and around or up and around? Well, I know this square is safe. I tested, I saw last mission, or last, last time I was playing this game, I... Uh, enrage instead of roaming. Okay, so this guy's not roaming. This guy's not roaming. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can get out. Flash can get out as soon as it's safe in a single turn. Yeah, now Besk just has to figure out how to get out. So I go down and around, or I go up and around. I think this time I should go up and around. I'm kind of tempted to punch the sorceress. But it's only going to knock her out for a single turn. Or like till the end of the current turn. I feel like that will be enough. I just don't want to deal with that. Okay, so these people in rage. That's cool. So are they going to go back to their patrol routes? Yes, they are. Um, I think I can afford to spend like an extra turn or two playing safe here. I could go down to this corner, but then if a guard, yeah, I feel like the chances of me getting discovered are like kind of, oh yeah, we would have gotten discovered. Anyway, we're just going to, uh, yeah, we're going to get Alaj out next turn.
And yeah, there's nothing useful that Elijah can do in here, so we'll just see. Hopefully I don't get telefragged. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, Besk just has to wait. And then Besk will have to wait another turn. Okay, the only useful thing Elash can do here is provide information. Okay. Guard is... Okay, this is cover. Yeah, this should be safe. And Elash can knock somebody out if that ends up being necessary. Squares are watched. Hmm. So I can't use the swap amulet. But this guard is going right. This guard is all. Oh, both of these guys are going to the right. Um. I think my best bet is to go up and around and then down here. Yeah, we'll have cover from this guard. Everything should be fine. At least this turn. Everything will be fine this turn. Who's... Uh... Yeah, I guess this these two rooms are connected, so they count as one room. Because guards can only slow somebody who's in the same room. Okay, never mind. Um, nobody ended up actually getting slowed. Not sure what's up with these sorceresses. They seem kind of bug. Uh, anyway, I probably should have. Well, I, I actually no. I, I was like I should have moved Elash, but it didn't matter because I can go diagonally through the doorway. So at the very, at, at least in this game, guards don't like automatically know where I am. I'm, I'm always comparing this game to Invisible Ink, but in Invisible Ink at high alarm levels, guards will get, will at specific instances, they'll pinpoint, they'll get to pinpoint your location for free. Can they stop covering the doorway, please? Um, yeah, and the sorceress, I guess the sorceress has a wand. That's how the sorcer sorceress can kill people. She, like, uses magic missile or something. Alright. Well, I'm just glad I took out the detection wand. Alright, are we finally getting out of this level? There we go. Yeah, none of the guards have keys, so they can't possibly get through these doorways. They could get onto the teleporter. Oh my goodness, that is exactly what happened. Well, luckily, he wasn't facing us when he went on the teleporter. I didn't even think about that possibility where a guard could just pop out of the teleporter at any moment. Like, even before the guards were enraged, if that happened, that probably would have ended the... Well, it would have forced me to restart the level. Alright, so I got everything. Got all the... I got both the objectives, I got all the secrets. And I'm pretty sure I stole all the money as well. The only thing I didn't do was deactivate the slow tone. Perfect run. Oh, we accidentally killed two of them. How did we kill two of them? We didn't telefrag anybody. I, I don't know. I guess maybe they died to spikes. There, was, there are a lot of spikes. Oh, I see some blood on these spikes up here. 
Okay, whatever. Let's just do the exposition. Did we get it? We did. Yeah. Okay, Order is planning something. Uh, Temley lost most of his friends. Her friends, I guess, they're all sorceresses, so Temley's probably also a sorceress. Ah, yes, we got the item we need to get to the next level. Oh, two buildings. The next level is going to have two buildings. Or is the next level just going to be unlocking the lab? I just can't use magic. He faints whenever he tries to use magic. This is a terrible plan. We need Temley. Wow, this is a very small level. It only has five loot and plus one secret. Oh, he's going alone. Okay, yeah, he's drinking mana potions all the time. So hopefully he has enough mana potions. Oh, we don't get to bring Trin. <laughs> okay. Wondering if I should get some kind of other item. I have so many cool items that I just haven't been using. could take the light blackjack, which doesn't take an action to use, but it's only a one turn stun instead of a two turn stun. Or I could get three uses of increased move range. Yeah, I don't know, let's just... Well, what's this? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so you use the rune key to, to deactivate the spikes. Okay, whatever. We're gonna keep the rune key. Oh, okay, guard is drunk. I didn't actually test... If I, well, what is this? Okay, and this sorceress is drunk. So if I alert her, nothing bad will happen. Or she, she won't stay alert. She won't raise... Wait, there's no alarm level. Okay, well... Um... Kind of want to just step on the magical barrier and then take back the rune key, but I uh, know I'll just telefrag myself. Okay. Oh, I know. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that was pretty stupid. Let's just take a look. At okay, I can't get there. Okay. Yeah, so I... Yeah, I'll lose my rune key. I Yeah, I, I can't get out of using this rune key here, so... So do I want to try to get this sorceress... onto the, that square? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, but if I... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, if I trap the sorceress... I want to see the sorceress's attack animation. Pew pew. 
Okay, I, I need to steal that sorceress's money before trapping her. All right, I just gotta run behind the sorceress. All right, give me that, thank you. Okay, cool. So now, what's the, is the sorceress going to just... Is the sorceress going to try to look in any other direction? I'm guessing not. Oh, that's a blindness curse. I guess it... Oh, it lasts two turns. Okay, this level looks like kind of a freebie. Yeah, you know, it's just there to... Oh, I gotta press the button. What is this? Okay. Feeding subjects, yeah, that sounds sinister. Oh, what? Why is this closed? Uh, okay, that's fine. I lost my rune key. And, oh, I gotta activate this orb. Do I have like a limited number of... Oh no, it just plays an uh, animation of me drinking a potion the first time I use each orb. Uh, what is this spell? Is it also a blindness spell? Alright. Alright, what spell was that? Well, I don't seem to be blinded. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Um, you know, I'll keep the key in there for now. Hmm. Is that going to cause problems if I allow the sorceress to get out? Well, I'm blinded again. Alright, I gotta wait here until the blindness wears off. Uh, okay, I gotta wait till next turn to look at this doorway. Oh, what? Okay, so these guards are alternating looking at these doorways, which means... I'm gonna have to think of something creative to get through. Alright, I have an idea. It involves trapping this sorceress down here, or even actually just... Uh... Potentially... Getting the sorceress crushed by... A doorway? Hmm. So I get the sorceress to go here. Well, I'll have the I'll have the sorceress follow me to this square. Yeah, okay, I have a plan. Okay, one Okay. One, two, three, four. So I want the sorceress to go to this square. Well, actually, yeah, so I need to get seen again. And because the guard is drunk, she does not stay enraged when I... Um, when, when I get out of her sight. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll get seen here. Because it's four spaces away from the chopper. And then... Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, that works. Yeah, luckily the guards don't, like, automatically turn to face me. Alright, goodbye. Can I do the same thing with this guard? With this sorceress? I bet it will not actually be very difficult. It's gonna be the exact same thing. Um... Well, it might be different. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go... Actually, let's bonk this guy. This sorceress. Let's go bonk her. And... Oh. Right. So when guards wake up, they can they will attack immediately if they see somebody. What the? But the the I am so confused. That sorceress is drunk. Why did that sorceress shoot me? Oh, I need the room key. Or was that, was that sorceress actually drunk, or did I just forget? Anyway. Yeah, I just wait here. Yeah. And... Yeah, we'll just walk up here, and then... Yeah, then I guess I just have to keep waiting. So I can't see. I can't see. I'm blinded again? Okay, I gotta go back and wait in a different room. All right. So now that sorceress is trapped. Not that it really matters because there is nothing else interesting going on in this room, in this whole area. Like one sorceress isn't really a threat. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Okay. Oh, right, I was supposed to distract from this square. And I need to distract the sorceress from one more square. And then, yeah, in a couple turns, I just activate this button, and the sorcerer gets crushed. Thank you. Now that I have a rune key... Oh, this button is keeping this closed. Yeah, so I shouldn't have activated the button, because now I can't go back and get this rune key, which is probably going to prevent me from getting a secret. But if it does, then I'll just do the level again. No big deal. Alright, so we're seen. That's fine. And... Yeah. 
Yet yeah, now I get seen again. It's fine. Okay. So now we just run down here. And... Alright. So now we get to kill that sorceress. Okay. Oh, I probably don't need this rune key here anymore. Can I read this sign? Nope, too far away. So perfect. I don't actually know what that is. Huh. Let's pull. Okay, you know, I'm going to restart the level and I'm going <laughs> to... I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I just forgot that that could happen. Actually, is there any way for me to retrieve this rune key? If I could get this... Um, Oh, okay, so the way I do it is I get the sorceress onto this button while I'm in this room. Okay, yeah, that's how I gotta do it. Yeah. So I gotta wait till the next cycle. And I'm getting out of the room. Okay, so I wait here. Alright, so I'm seen, and now I can hide in here. Oh. Yeah, so that doesn't work. I'm assuming that doesn't work either. Okay, in that case, there's no way to stop the... Well, since I've lost, whatever. Yeah, so I have no way of retrieving the my original rune key afterwards. So that means I just don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I thought I might have missed out on a secret. And there doesn't seem to be any uh, any benefit to trapping this sorceress. Like we just oh, we gotta activate the orb by having the sorceress stand on the butt. Okay, fine. All right. What kind of villain designs a lair like this? That's all I want to know. Okay, I'm curious about... Okay. It said that would kill me, but it didn't. I was wondering how smart the uh, little warning is. All right. So we just wait. And...
Yeah, luckily, so guards get alerted when they see dead bodies. Um, so ordinarily, ordinarily, I think a guard would get alerted on seeing a blood stain. I don't know if there's like officially a body there, but whatever, it doesn't doesn't matter. Um. Oh, right, yeah, I want to get him alerted. I want to get her alerted there. Yeah, yeah, same little trick I did before. Now I gotta wait a few turns. Actually... Yeah, I just, I just pressed this... Oh, impossible wall scene. Okay, fine, now I just press this button. Yeah, sucks to be you. Oh, right, I need to get my key again. What is this? Oh, what, what do I mean, what is this? Yeah, I'll let all the sorceresses out. Is this another button? Mysterious statue, let's go. Hey, is there another button down here that I somehow missed? Oh, I need a rune key. Okay, there is a button there. Okay, we don't want to crush ourselves again. Yeah, I already, already saw that. What's here? <laughs> but yeah, that's how you know they're bad guys. They're poisoning the water supply. Oh, whoop, I misclicked. Whatever, there's no turn pressure. Okay, definitely nothing. In, well, okay, I'm gonna take another look because there might be a secret button. Nope, okay, should be fine. And, okay, is there something complicated I have to do, or can I just, like... Well... Okay, first thing... Okay, I don't think anybody can see me right now. Yeah, there, I didn't think so. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the room so I stop being unable to see. So, if somebody steps on this button, I mean, it looks like looks like it, it has four walls completely around it. Yeah, this definitely just looks like a situation where I have to distract sorceresses onto all four of the orbs. I mean, both of the buttons. Okay, so I'll go here. Yeah, so doubly alerted, that's fine. Uh, am I caught? No, it would tell me if I was caught, even though I'm blind. Wow, this blindness is pretty annoying. Oh, okay, this is how I distract the guards. Okay. Oh, I don't want to be on the button. Okay. Yeah, so that guard's trapped, and now... One, two, three, four... Okay, this is perfect. Perfect turn efficiency. And no, I don't want to step on the button. The game's trying to automatically path me onto the button, and I don't want to do that. And there's a secret here that I... need to figure out how to access. Wait, did I? Um... How 
How do I get through this? Let's use a re- I, I don't remember if that was open before. Okay, no, that was that was closed the whole time. But I didn't miss out on an opportunity. Okay, so we have our rune key. Okay, so the, uh, well, let's just, okay. Oh, okay, so that lever toggles the one switch and the other lever toggles both of them. This doesn't seem to do anything. Well, this toggles everything. I would like to not... I, I would like to have this rune key. Yeah, I definitely... Well, when I have all my movement... Wait, no, uh... Okay. Oh, that just deactivated the whole thing. Oh, but the rune key is... I, I want to have the rune key. Yeah. Is there any way I can have the rune key? Well, if I had the swiftness potions... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even need it. Okay. Well, let's see what these levers do, I guess. So the left lever doesn't seem to do anything. The right lever toggles... well, whatever. Let's just... Yeah, I like not getting blinded. Let's deactivate this. <sighs> okay. Oh, that just deactivates all. Cool. Oh, I'm I'm glad I'm glad Elaz reminded me to grab the objective. Okay. Well, that was that was his last mana potion. Luckily, I can keep using those teleport orbs. Oh, I can't I can't blackjack sleeping targets. Wow, this level's not over. Doesn't tell me what spirits do yet. Okay, so the spirit um, attacks the row and column that I'm standing on. So... Yeah, I'm completely trapped if I go back, so obviously I gotta do something in this room. Let's just see if the... Let's step on the weird rune and see what happens. Yeah, maybe we can get the, the spirit to deactivate the runes? Can't blackjack the spirit.
All right. Um. Have I gotten the spirit on every single button? I just want to do that. Okay, I've definitely done that now. Um, I'm assuming the spirit kills me if I'm staying. Oh, well, it has skulls on the on the on the square, so obviously that's what happens. Okay. So I woke up the spirit. What if I get the spirit to like kill the sorcerers? Okay. Um, does that help me at all? Can the spirits deactivate the... the magical barriers? There's Tone to Danger open inside. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try getting the spirit. Oh, the spirit didn't attack me. Okay. Yeah, so it goes here, it sees the sorceress, and. Okay, cool, that's what I was hoping for. Um, I wonder if killing the sorceresses before ended up being bad. I don't think it really is going to matter. Like the sorceresses, like his ghost is not that hard to avoid. Alright, let's just throw the switch. Can I get the ghosts to kill each other? Okay, I can go... Yeah, I can go up there. I don't actually know what the uh, what these levers do, but it probably just opens the next thing. Yeah. Can they like interact with these barrels? If I get a ghost to go next to a barrel, does that help me somehow? Oh, who's this? Oh, it's Trevor. <laughs> Trevor's gonna get blown up. No, poor Trevor, he's gonna get killed by a ghost again. It's fine, he's not real. Well, that certainly happened. Perfect run, let's go. That one sorceress got to live. Amazing.
<laughs> I couldn't tell what happened there. Okay, seven loot and two statues. Cool. But yeah, we've done two levels. So that's where I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.